In this video, we're talking about feline infectious peritonitis. We're going to shorten this to FIP. FIP is a viral infection in cats, and without treatment, it is fatal. We will talk about how cats contract the disease, what the symptoms are, and we're also going to discuss the brand new treatment for this disease that had been considered fatal for decades. FIP is caused by feline coronavirus. This is quite a common virus in cats, and it is completely different to the coronaviruses that can infect humans, including the coronavirus causing COVID-19. The feline coronavirus that causes FIP in cats does not infect humans. Feline coronavirus mainly infects the gastrointestinal tract. Here it can replicate and then it is shed in the feces. It can survive in the environment for several days, and it is spread from cat to cat via litter trays or by grooming. Only a small subset of cats infected with feline coronavirus will ever develop FIP. This is caused by a mutation in the virus that allows the virus to leave the intestine and then multiply in the macrophages. Macrophages are a very important cell type of the immune system. This replication within macrophages and the effect the virus has on the immune system are responsible for the symptoms of FIP. It is a very common virus in cats, especially in multi-cat households or in situations where many cats live together, such as in breeding environments. It is shed in feces and spread via grooming or sharing litter boxes. In most cats, feline coronavirus causes either no symptoms or it can cause a mild diarrhea that is usually self-limiting and it resolves after a few days. In the small proportion of cats who do develop FIP, the symptoms can be really variable. Many cats will have a temperature that will come and go. You may also see that your cat is not thriving. Perhaps they are underweight or smaller than expected for their breed. As the disease progresses, cats can develop either a wet form of FIP or a dry form of FIP. With the wet form of FIP, cats will develop fluid either in their tummy or in their chest or sometimes in both. This is due to inflammation of the blood vessels that causes them to become leaky and fluid leaks out of the blood vessels. With dry FIP, cats develop inflammatory lesions in the organs of the body. The symptoms that your cat will display will depend on which organ is affected. If the brain is affected, your cat may develop neurological signs. If the intestine is affected, your cat may develop vomiting or diarrhea. With FIP, the symptoms generally start out as mild and gradually get progressively worse over time. Any cat who's been exposed to feline coronavirus can develop FIP. Because remember, the virus needs to mutate in order to cause FIP. But the vast majority of cats who do develop the disease are pedigree cats who are less than two years of age. Non-pedigree cats and cats of any age can also develop the disease, but it is much less common than in young pedigree cats. FIP can be challenging to diagnose. Tissue samples can be used to definitively diagnose the condition, but these are usually only available to us after the cat has died, so we have to rely on other ways to diagnose the disease. FIP is usually diagnosed by building up our suspicion that that cat may have the disease. We rely on the cat's age and their breed. We also rely on the physical exam, especially the presence or absence of an intermittent high temperature, along with blood test results and the presence or absence of fluid in the tummy or in the chest. No one of these things can confirm FIP, but together they can build a picture that will tell us if FIP is more or less likely. FIP is a challenging disease to treat. This is a disease that had been considered fatal for decades, but now we do have an antiviral treatment for FIP and it is proving very promising. For the very first time, we are able to offer owners of cats with FIP some hope, and the cats treated with this antiviral are now surviving this horrendous disease. The antiviral treatment can be administered either as a subcutaneous injection under the skin or as a tablet. The downside to the treatment is the length of time that cats need to receive it. Often they need to receive the treatment daily for several months, and this can be challenging for some owners. The cost of the treatment may also be challenging because it can reach several thousand pounds. The treatment is also not available in many countries, so while a promising treatment exists, it is still out of reach for many owners and for many cats, either due to availability or due to cost. For vets, FIP is one of those diseases that we dread diagnosing the most. It usually occurs in beautiful young cats, and up until recently we could offer owners no hope of survival for their cat. 
that is changing, but the cost of treatment, if it is available in your country, can be prohibitive for many owners. I believe that all cats should be insured, but if you have a young pedigree cat, this is an additional excellent reason to insure them. This antiviral treatment has finally given cats with FIP hope after decades of hopelessness, but it means nothing if you cannot afford the treatment. I have more resources on my website, allcats.co.uk, and if you have topics that you would like to see a video on, please let me know, and I will be happy to make one for you. See you in the next video.